Hey folks, it's Samantha once again, and coming back at you, at you with another unpackaging. This thanks to a guy named Mike, uh, Mike Shankel, and I got this. He let me know what it was, but he was sending me a package. Didn't want to show his address, but uh, said I would do an unpackaging for him, and that's no problem. And I know a lot of people have a lot of requests, and I do apologize, but. I do have a bunch of movies. All those movies there they get to still. My friend Mike OCP has a lot of movies still that I didn't get to. Also Roger, uh, Classic Rocker, uh, Jake, Michael Keane, uh, I think, uh, and also of course Till from Germany. With a lot of amazing stuff I got from a lot of great people. Again, no one ever has to send me stuff, but they don't push me to do reviews for those movies. I do. Because if they're taking their time and energy and money to send me something when no one ever has to do that, I feel obligated to get to them first. Again, I apologize. I know a lot of people ask me a lot of movies. Even like newer ones, sometimes I do a throwaway, like, oh, send me money or send me something. But honestly, it's just also... I have so many movies that I want to get to, as well as I feel obligated to get to. I know a lot of people say, oh, don't burn yourself out, but I feel obligated to get to them. It's the least I can do. And this will be whatever it's... He, he let me know what it was, but I will get to this as soon as I can. Because I, I feel obligated to do that. Because, again, I've been blessed. Honestly, with this year... Movie-wise, I can name maybe on one hand how many movies I've liked. So it's a lot of movies that have been shitty. But, uh, uh, I'm on other stuff, but I've been blessed with this. And no one ever has to do that for me, so it's really humbling. Because it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. And that's why I don't, that's why I don't, I rarely have time, like on Facebook, I rarely talk on Facebook, or I say that I get very busy. It's, you know, this stuff here, plus, you know, stuff in real life. I mean, it's not like I'm, everything's for free, so I do do stuff to get money and stuff, so. So I get busy with that, and then when I'm not busy with that, you know, doing stuff and, Again, I feel I would get to those first, including this here. But I, I'm sorry, I know it's three minutes in, but I know a lot of people ask for stuff, but it just it's only so little time. But, uh, oh, it's, it's packaged very nicely, though. I think he mentioned there's a. I don't want to ruin it, so I'm being careful. But it's nice that he. It's packaged this way because it makes it very secure. And uh, just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Just want to make sure. Okay. I think at one time I got a package and there was like a letter or something and I missed it. And I felt bad about that. But, uh, just want to make sure. Just want to make sure there's no letter or anything. Uh, thought he mentions. Sorry, I'm just going to check something real quick. I know I, it's. Uh, I just want to check something real quick. Just want to make sure. Okay. Just want to check real quick. Sorry, I just want to check something out real quick. Okay. I thought he had messaged me what it was, but I thought he mentioned that there was a letter or something, but I just wanted to make sure I might have misread it. I just don't want to miss. Yeah, I said, I'm sending a letter along with the box set. He says he sent a letter, but I don't see where the letter is. Because there's this here. 
and there's nothing in there. So that's why I'm a bit confused about a letter. He said there's a letter, unless it's in one of these. So, yeah, I don't know. So if he's watching, I don't know what to say. He's, I, I thought you had said you had sent a letter, but uh, you know, just so you know, there's nothing in there. Uh, and then nothing cardboard. And then this one there is oh, it's taped here. Okay, did find it. Sorry about that. But I should mention what it is first. Sorry, it's wanted to make sure. But uh, it is a demonic dolls box set. And uh, sorry about that. But it has. I think these are ones from overseas, which is fine because I can play them. So it's Gary Busey and. The Ginger Dead Man. I know there's more than one of this movie, but I'm fine with just watching this. <laughs> I know it's Gary Busey, so definitely give this a watch. And then someone called Doll Graveyard Reborn for Revenge. Of course, Charlie Band deals with a lot of little stuff. I mean, it's called the Doll theme, so I don't know why I'm. Surprise. A doll graveyard with really no one that I know. But it's produced and directed by Charlie Band. Oh, yeah, if you're a fan of, uh, now that I mentioned, Trancers, recently on Amazon, it's on their website, but on Amazon, there's actually a Trancers Blu ray, which has a commentary with Tim Thomas and Charlie Band. There is a segment of the Pulse Pounders anthology that didn't get released, but there was segment on transfers that's on there. I guess there's a featurette with interviews with Tim Towers and such on there, and then there's a uh, interviews from back in the day. Uh, it's 25 bucks. I would like to get that one day, but I just don't have the money right now. Because if you go on their website, it's like 32 bucks with shipping, but on there it's like 25 bucks. So if you're interested in transfers Blu-ray with those features, it's on there right now on Amazon. So I just want to let people know in case you're interested in picking one up for yourself if you're a fan of the movie. So again, got some features and stuff. I don't know how the picture quality is, but I would like to get that one day, but I just don't have the money. But saving up for the first power Blu-ray in October, and maybe the Super Mario Bros. Special Edition in November, but that's only in overseas, November 3rd. But there's a DVD, and I don't mind the movie. There's like John Leguizamo and the directors are being interviewed, so that would be like 30 bucks. But that's because it's overseas. So I want to save up some money for that. And as well as some other stuff too. Uh, other stuff too, you know, real life stuff. But anyway. Uh, Puppet Master vs. Demonic Toys. Which actually this is fine because I have the other Puppet Master movies. But I didn't have this. So uh, I'm not sure if I'll review this by itself. Or I'll wait to review the other Puppet Master movies. I'm not sure. Um, but I remember that I seen this a long time ago and not being a big fan of it, but now I can watch them all back to back. I know this had Corey Feldman in it and Vanessa Angel. And then this is really nice, a DVD by itself of Doll Man. Because I actually had a three pack with Dollman, Demonic Toys, and Dollman vs. Demonic Toys, which is nice. But I know the picture quality wasn't the best, but uh, this is actually the film by itself, and it's full frame. But uh, nice to actually have you know, Dollman by itself. I love Dollman. This is definitely, I would say, this is my favorite full moon film. You know, I enjoy Transfers 1, 2, and 3. Four and five like, uh, is all right, but I'd probably see if I had a favorite it'd be Doll Man. This is a very fun movie. I was always surprised there was never a Doll Man. Well, Doll Man vs. Demonic Toys, but an actual Doll Man too. 
really enjoy this one. But uh, either way, thank you very much for this. I will definitely review these whenever I, whenever I can, as soon as I can. Oh, let me read your note first. Hey, Matt. Thank you for so much for, thank you for so much entertainment on YouTube and adding me on Facebook. No, that's no problem. When you said you liked Dollman, I was like, well, why not give him the whole set? You will probably rant on Puppet Master's demonic toys, even when they are replicated so poorly. And Doll Graveyard. You might enjoy Ginger Dead Man. Once again, thank you for all the entertainment for the past years. Sincerely, Black Ninja 847, a.k.a. Mike Shankle. And uh, I always keep, I have a little folder that I keep the notes. I know that sounds weird, but, you know, if someone takes the time to write to me, I keep them. But, no, thank you, you know, a kind word is more than good enough for me, but I've been blessed with a lot of stuff, and again, no one ever has to buy me anything. Even when, you know, I throw like a throwaway comment like, oh, I'll see Transformers 4 in, in the new Ninja Turtles movie if you give me $100. That was more like, sometimes I say that so that people keep stop bothering me because it's something that I don't deserve and it would never happen. So it's just, those are movies I just had no interest in watching at all. Why should I when, you know, I would rather watch these, to be honest. Even if they're bad, I would rather take my time and watch these because, you know, they were a gift. And, you know, I love Doll Man. <laughs> I'd rather take my time watching these. And these will keep me busy for a few months at least. At least a few months. So I'm more than happy to just watch these that my friend sent me. And, and very nice people sent me. So I will definitely review this as soon as I can. Thank you so much for this. And I've seen Puppet Master vs. Demon Toys. I remember it being a very cheap movie. But hey, I have the other Puppet Master film, so it completes the collection of the Puppet Master flicks I have. And uh, Ginger Dead Man, hey, Scary Busey, so at least curiosity's sake. And Doll Man, I really enjoy because I had the, the three pack, and it was very cheaply made. So I'll keep it for Doll Man vs. Demon Toys, but. Uh, at least I have Dollman by itself, which is very cool. It's very cool. I can, already, I can guarantee this will have better picture quality. I don't think there was ever a widescreen of Dollman, but because this is a DVD by itself, it will have better picture quality, no doubt. So I'm glad for that. So I'm very glad for Dollman. So thank you so much, Mike Schenkel, a.k.a. one day is Black Ninja 847, thank you for that. Uh, thanks for watching, take care, and we will say, see you later for another video. Uh, it's kind of cool because I actually can put thumbnails on my videos. It's a little thing, but it's kind of a cool thing as well. So that's very cool. Uh, but thanks for watching, take care, and we will see you later. Bye bye.